Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. And this time I am extremely excited to talk about our new patch cores that we are introducing. We've been talking about this for a couple of years. So if you've been waiting for patch cords, here they are finally. It's been a long road to get patch cords finally designed and vetted out the way we wanted them, the quality that we wanted. We'll get into some details about what it takes to get a good patch cord. You'd think something like this would be simple. It's anything but simple. So we're gonna talk about patch cord quality quality. We're going to talk about the difference between channel rated and component certified and things like that. We're going to talk about the patch cords in particular, the colors, the lengths, and also we're going to ask you for some recommendations around patch cords. What would you like to see? What colors would you like to see? What lengths would you like to see? We're going to talk about the construction, also the application, where these patch cords are really suitable for, which is basically anywhere you need a patch cord, but we're going to talk about how good they are in preventing problems in your network, unusual drop packets, PoE trouble, things like that. So this is definitely a video you're going to want to stay around for because we're going to be getting into in-depth information about Category 6 patch cords. Stay right there. I'll be right back. So let's cover some basics about these patch cords. First of all, they come in three different colors. That would be blue, white, and black. They come in lengths from six inches to 25 feet. So we have six inch, one foot, three foot, five foot, seven, 10. And that covers most of the rack installations you'll find out there. And then we have 14 and 25 feet as well. They're all CM rated. They're suitable for use inside of general areas. They're suitable for rack wiring, modular furniture, but they're not suitable for putting inside of walls. So it's not riser rated. You can't take them outside. It's not outdoor rated. And you can't use them in plumbing areas. They're 28 gauge. So they're thin format, which means they're easy to route. They're very, very easy to route, in fact. And their bend radius is actually pretty small. So you can bend them very easily inside of modular furniture. That's a real world use case where you can run into problems with patch cords. Another is wiring a high density rack with a patch manager. Thin patch cords are your best friend in that kind of situation. It takes a long time to develop a reliable patch cord. And so what makes our patch cords so unique and different? I mean, Sure, you can get 28-gauge Cat6 patch cords anywhere, right? This is true. But you can't find them where they're guaranteed 100% the pass for every single one you buy. First of all, our Cat6 patch cords are what's called component rated. And what that means is that in the standard, there is a definition around how patch cords have to behave because each one is its own little individual installation. So you've got two connectors and you've got the cable. And so that is literally a component. It's part of the overall channel. So there is a performance specification, which takes all of that into account. And the vast majority of patch cords in the market, as in 75%, don't do this one thing. Pass, literally, they don't pass. So 75%, and this is not an exaggeration, it's been confirmed by outside agencies and information sources. My own experience tells me that's also the case. Fully 75% of patch cords on the market will fail patch cord testing. They might pass channel testing. They will certainly probably pass wire wrap testing. But you need a device like this in order to tell you whether or not your patch cord actually passes. You're going to notice that I did test it against the TIA patch cord 1.5 meter, which adjusts the amount of performance or necessary headroom in the cable for the length of testing. It is being tested to category six requirements. And it has a 3.3 decibel crosstalk parameter, and that includes at the terminations, and a 3.2 dB return loss parameter. So what that means is, is that plugging in one of these patch cords into your rack to jack permanent link structured part of your cabling system, one of your patch cores isn't going to bring down the entire communications channel. And yes, it has happened. And I'll explain more in another video about why that is. But suffice it to say that each patch cord is tested with a Fluke DSX-8000 in the factory prior to actually being bagged up and shipped out. That's why they're component rated. And they are 100% certified right out of the factory. We guarantee it. And we guarantee that each cord you get is covered by a forever wind. Mm -hmm. 
when it comes to patch cords, another major consideration is bending the, the patch cord at the termination. Now, for many patch cords, just doing this, even if it had passed on a certification test straight up like this, in other words, no bend, doing this alone might be enough to do, induce a failure. So our patch cords have been designed in such a way that it holds the cable at the termination to the contacts so that even a bend at the termination when you're wiring up like a rack, for example, or a modular furniture, isn't going to cause you performance loss. That's very critical to patch cord performance because patch cords are meant to be flexible. So because they're 28 gauge though, there are some things to cover in regards to permissible lengths and what you trade off. So there's no free lunch. So 28 gauge is easy to route, easy to work with, but you don't get as much distance. So for example, 28 gauge patch cords, just the patch cord by itself. You can't use more than 50 feet of 28 gauge patch cord in the best case scenario in any one communications channel. Otherwise you're gonna start having problems. So the maximum distance, like for example, in a full length permanent fleet channel of 328 feet, assuming all ideal circumstances, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, things like that, 10 feet each side for 28 gauge, so 20 feet pull. That's one of the reasons why we cut the, the lights off at 25 feet. If you get a patch cord, you wanna know that it works. 100% of the time, Guaranteed. You may have already tested your permanent links with a DSX, but do you have the $1,200 for each set of patch cord adapters you need? Are you willing to sit there and test hundreds, maybe thousands of patch cords to be sure they all pass? No, it's, it's nice to know that these things pass and are certified right out of the bag and you can depend on them. As far as speed is concerned, you're going to get 10 gigabit. If you use just the patch cord itself from one piece of equipment to another, powered equipment to powered equipment, to 25 feet with our patch cords, and each piece of equipment can do 10 gigabit networking, you're going to get 10 gigabit out of these cords. Now, speeds will drop to 5 gigabit when you start plugging them into full-length CAT6 channels, or structured cabling system, I should say, where you got a permanent link, and now you're using two patch cords. After a certain point, you're going to be at 5 gigabit, but that's what you would expect with CAT6 anyway. So patch cord alone, guaranteed 10 gigabit, no problem. That's the main takeaways from this discussion, is that they're 28 gauge, they're indoor use only, not in any fire rated areas. They're guaranteed performance, they're component rated, they're 100% certified. We've got them in various colors and various lengths, and we would love it if you would leave down in the comments below some suggestions for us. What colors would you like to see? What lengths would you like to see? So with that, I'm gonna say hit the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, please. And you have a great day. Happy networking.